let's build a simple agent with Mastra using a chef example. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new directory. We're going to call it Chef Michel. And I'm going to go into that directory here. And I'm just going to initialize a project. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up in cursor. And as you can see, we just have a simple package.json. The first thing I'm going to do is go back to the CLI, and I'm also going to install master core. That's going to give us all the things we need to actually start working with an agent. So I'm just going to add this. So pm pm add master core. And this will download. We'll go back here. I'm also going to create a .env file. And in this, I'm going to drop in an open API key. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I dropped in my OpenAI API key. Let's go ahead and start creating this agent. So what I normally like to do is create a source master folder. And in this folder, I'm going to put an agents folder. And in this case, I'm just going to call it Chef Michel. It's a TS file. And this is where we're going to create our agent. And it doesn't have to be in this folder, but I just like the structure of putting all my agents in an agent folder. First thing we're going to do is import agent from master core. That's good. And we're going to call this you know, chef agent. And we're just going to give it a name of chef agent. And we're going to give it some instructions, which I'm just going to copy in just to speed this up a little bit. And then we're going to give it a model. And this could be, you know, uh, you know an anthropic model, an open AI model. We're going to use open AI. And then we can select the model. Let's do GPT. And so provider, and this is actually called name. And there we go. That's the minimum we need, and we're exporting this. We have our environment variable, and now I'm going to go ahead and create this index.ts. This is kind of an important one in this master folder, just an index.ts file. And then the location of this one matters a little bit more, but it still is pretty flexible if you want to put it somewhere else. So we're going to import Mastra for Mastra Core, and then we're going to import our Chef Agent. All right. And then we're going to create or instantiate a new master class, and we're going to pass in our agent, which needs to be passed in as an object, just like that. And an agent is more is often way more than just a simple system prompt attached to a model. But in this case, we're trying to keep it really simple. We could pass in tools and do a lot more with it, and we'll show those in future videos. But for this uh, time, we're just going to keep it simple. We have an agent with a very sy simple system prompt attached to a model. Next thing I'm going to do is we're actually going to now interact with this agent. So everything in this master folder I like to think of as this This is all the AI bits of our application. Now if we had a real application I might have you know an index.ts file or you know potentially a lot more outside of this master uh, folder. And in this case we're just going to do and we're going to need to import Mastra, and then I'm going to call this you know, const chef agent equals Mastra dot get agent. And so I'm just going to get the agent. And this is kind of a nice pattern to use anywhere throughout your code base, just to get the agent, and then you can use it 
uh, you know, just interact with it wherever you need to. In this case, I'm going to copy in an example and we'll talk through it. So in this one, we're just going to generate a text response. So what this is going to do is look at this. We have a, a query here and it's going to say in my kitchen I have pasta, canned tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, blah 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 and it's going to print out the query. Then it's going to call chefagent.generate. It's going to pass in an array of messages. In this case, this is a user you know, prompt. And it's going to pass in the query as the content of that user prompt. And then we're going to log out Chef Michelle's response. OK, so to, to, just to run this example simply, we're going to go back to the CLI. I'm going to use mpx bun just so we can use bun and it's source index.ts. And it is important that I have this environment variable so it knows you know, how to actually use you know, GPT-40, the model, how it, how it can interact with OpenAI. But you'll see we have our query, we have a response, and it's a pretty standard LLM response, but it's pretty easy to wire up. So let's look at another example. So we're just going to comment this out. Let's show a streaming response. And I'll grab that and we'll talk through it. Okay, so now that I'm at my friend's house, I have a few ingredients. We're going to log it. We're calling, in this case, chefagent.stream. It's the same, uh, you know, the same parameters. It's an array of messages. So the user message with the query. We get back a stream object, and then since the stream comes back in chunks, we're just going to print out those chunks, those chunks to the standard out as they become available, and then just print out a, a message so we know when it's all done. Let's rerun this, and we should see it here. As you can see, it's printing it out as it's kind of generating this response. And it tells us that it's complete. You can see it gives us instructions, gives us ingredients. You'll notice that these have often have ingredients and like step-by-step -step instructions. You know, just by default, it's kind of giving us those sections both times. So the other thing we can do is we can actually tell it, no, we want a structured response. So let's go ahead and show an example of that. And we'll look at this one as well. And for this one, we are going to need to pass in a Zod schema. So let's go ahead and import. You can see it already can guess. I don't have Zod installed, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now if I come back, no errors. You can see in this case, the query is I want to make lasagna. Give me, please give me a recipe. We're going to have uh, an object with ingredients. And that ingredients is going to have an array with name and amount of each of the ingredients. And then steps, which is an array of strings. Then we're going to call chefagent.generate. But we're passing in the output schema as a second parameter to the generate function. And then we're just going to log this object when it comes back. So let's go ahead and run this. And generating a structured uh, response does seem to take just a touch longer. So this will take a few seconds here. You can see it came back. Here's an ingredients array with name and the amount of each of those ingredients. And here's a, a, an array of strings for the steps. So you can see we're able to get you know, text response, streaming response, and structured output response. Last, let's actually talk about running the agent server. So you can install the Mastro CLI 
you can do this using npm or pmpm just like npm install dash g mastra I already have it installed so I'm just gonna run master dev and this is going to this is where I said you know I need the the source mastra folder location is important you can configure it but by default that's where it's gonna look and it gives me this localhost 411 it also gives me this open API JSON file but if I go here this is going to open up the dev server and I can actually just chat with the agent directly in here so I'm going to grab just one example of the queries that we were using or the prompts we were using I can of course just have it you know I can have it tell me about itself I can ask this is the streaming prompt we used before and it does a very similar recipe as, as it did last time so you can see I can actually directly interact with the agent as I'm building it in this UI it's a nice way to kind of quickly iterate and test things it also tells me all the endpoints that are available so I can easily do something like this where I'm going to actually curl a response so I'm going to copy this over and then we'll talk about exactly how it works. So if we look, it's API slash agent slash chef agent slash generate. Let's go ahead and just curl that. You can see I'm curling localhost 4111, that endpoint. I'm passing in an array of messages and it says I have eggs, flour, and milk. What can I make? So I will run this and this again will, will take a little bit. But it is calling this generate command. It's using the dev server that we have running. So again, I have to have master dev running. As you can see it returns a text or an object with text. And here's all of the instructions for potential things that I could make. So that's it. We went through how you can create a very simple agent with Mastra, how you can get it to uh, generate text, stream text, and actually uh, generate structured output. Then we also showed the Mastra dev server and how you can use that to quickly iterate and test the agent as you're building it. And last, we just showed how once the dev server is running, you can actually just use it like an API and directly interact with your agent. So that's it. We'll see you next time.